Hi, it's Will from StoneTheCastle.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to wrap the rope on a torsion catapult. You know, I made quite a few catapults, and I've got all different types, and torsion is one of them where you use twisted rope as a means of power, powering up that, that catapult. I've got a small one there, that you've probably seen that project, and I've got this larger one here. And a lot of people send me emails asking me, oh, how do I wrap the rope? I don't understand how to get that rope wrapped correctly. So what I've done here is I've made myself a little jig to show you how it's done. Now picture this jig as being the base of the catapult here. These are the handles that we've made, with the side pieces with the holes in them. All right, here's the arm of the catapult right here, another side piece. So um, this way I can show you exactly what I do. So first thing you do, and I'm, I'm going to use um, wire here because I've run out of rope. I used it all here on, the, on that catapult. But the wire will do just fine to show you how it's done. First thing you do is you take a piece of rope, tie it to one of your handles. Right here, just like this. See that? I got it tied here. Run it through the one side of the catapult and then through the arm. Right through the middle of the arm there, right through the hole in the middle. Like that, all the way through. And then run it around the other, the other handle. Like this. See that? I'm running around that other handle. And then run it right back through. Right through the center with the arm of the catapult, and again like that. Okay, now I like to do this. I like to do three passes. Now you probably can vary. You probably can do two, but I usually do three passes through there. Wrap it around the handle and back through the center. Okay, so now here's where it gets a little bit confusing, but still, it's very easy. Now, you don't have to make these tight, like if you pull this tight, your handle would come in real close to here. You don't have to tighten that up right now for right now, because when you twist it, it'll tighten. You can leave it kind of loose just so you can work with it. Now, here's the thing. You're going to go over, over your handle, like this. I'm over this handle, which means I'm going to go under the catapult centerpiece here. So go under the catapult throw arm and through. Now because I'm under, I'm going to go over on this one. Go over this handle here. See it? So, went over, under, over. Now, when this comes out under the handle, like this, go over the centerpiece. See that? Now I'm over. Through the hole. And because it's over, now I go under. Go under the handle, like this. over and now I think you get the idea now that I've gone over I'm going to actually go under see so it'll look like that so what we're doing is this kind of a thing oops goes like that see it so you're just alternating like that and you just do that as many times as you can get it and you should go through the hole but you see what I'm doing there so you end up with a figure eight like this so simple enough now you do as many as those as you can squeeze through there generally the more the better because you're going to have a lot more twisting action on the rope but um, that should clear things up. And what you end up with is this. And you can also take a couple of pieces towards the end. Towards the end of your wrap, and you can do this. Throw a wrap here. Bring it over. And throw a wrap there. Okay? To keep it tight. And you're done. Put it in and out. See, so you get the idea? Now you want to have plenty of wraps in there. And then up at that. Now when you twist it forward, it's going to put a lot of tension on that and you'll be able to pop your catapult. So I hope that helps. You use that for the small catapults and the big catapults. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's all figure eights. You go up and around, up and around, all figure eights, as many wraps as you can get in there. Uh, thanks for watching. Plenty of catapult stuff on my website, www.stormycastle.com.